Hi guys, uh, welcome to another um, short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I'm just going to show you some more of my uh, car boot sale finds. Um, it's a wide selection here from silver, art, musical instruments, glass, porcelain. So I'll give you a couple of little close-ups, give you an idea of what I've paid and just hope you find the items interesting. Alright, so I'll, uh, I'll give you um, a little close-up. Thanks. Okay guys, I'm going to start with a um, solid silver handled uh, set of knives. Um, all handles are fully stamped, hallmarked, solid silver with the uh, steel blade. Obviously the handles are going to be loaded with uh, a type of filler or plaster, but they cost me a fiver for the set. There's more than uh, a fiver just in the silver scrap if I wanted to scrap them. Uh, moving on then, there's a set of beautiful Edinburgh crystal uh, glass, set of glasses rather. Um, these are Edinburgh International. Uh, the way to make money on these glasses is to buy them as long as they're signed. Uh, you research the pattern name as I told you on replacements.com. Get your pattern, you can list them as the pattern and you get the top money. Next item here is a horn. Uh, I'm not sure if they call these um, a clarinet. Um, not clarinet, sorry, a cornet. Getting my words confused there. Um, bought that one for my daughter. I haven't decided whether to give it to her or not yet. She's um, 11 years old. Um, she just had a pink guitar and a pink violin. Well, I purchased this because it was pink. It cost me a tenner. But if I want to sell it, there's good profit. Uh, next year we have an antique calculator, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> what well, they used mid-century and uh, to be honest with you, this in its day would have cost somebody a substantial amount of money. I would imagine uh, equivalent to four or five weeks wages. Obviously you'd set your numbers, uh, turn, spin the dial and then your answer would come up down below. Uh, this one was £8. I've seen them sell for as little as 25 to 30 for as much as 500 uh, This will be the lower grade, but still a nice, unusual item. I like having different on the site. Um, we'll come across then to a set of knives and forks. These are what I believe to be fish knives and forks. Um, all the bands are solid silver. You've got the steel ends and the... Uh, yeah. It's plastic, it is, but it's simulated ivory, if you like, uh, for the handles. But as I say, all the uh, bands are stamped sterling silver. So, nice little set again for £5. Same purchase as the, of the same dealer as the other knives and knives I had. Next item here is a box. Wooden box, all inlaid. This is known as Sorrento way. It's very similar to our Tunbridge way, except it's continental. Um, it's fully inlaid on the sides and it has two terriers inlaid onto the top. Now this item here is a puzzle box. Basically the sides, you push the sides out somehow, there you go. So these slide out, both sides, and then you drop something else down and the top opens. I haven't managed to open it yet. Um, we have a volcano scene on the reverse. Uh, not 100% on the name of the volcano there. Most of them you find among Vesuvius. Um, so anyway, surrender away puzzle box. I haven't got into it yet. There is something inside it. Um, but I don't want to break it open. So I'll get to that when I get to it. Next item, I purchased off a, uh, a lady who was sadly clearing um, her mother's house. This is two ivory panels. Uh, they're Indian. They're only part panels. Uh, they come out of something else. But they are ivory plaques and they're hand painted. Um, this was the details that came with it. Um, her mother purchased it some 20 years ago. So... 
what appealed to me was it was um, erotic art, Indian erotic art. So they were very nice. I paid £20 for that set. Um, but to be honest with you, it was as much the the lady, I like the lady selling it. I've purchased quite a bit off her now from her late mother's estate. Um, a lot of it I'm keeping, as with these, I'm keeping these. My own collection. Um, nice little heavy desk cannon, solid brass, 1920s, 30s. Um, these always go lovely as paperweights or just a desk ornament. Right, then we'll come across here. These look like silver, but they're not. They are actually silver plate. They're um, early 20th century. Nice shape. They are in the manner of the uh, silver sticks, but they are, as I say, silver plate. But they're still a nice pair of sticks. They cost me a fiver. Um, here we have a large mid-century cut glass biscuit barrel. Um, it's about 12 inches or so. Six inches wide diameter. Beautiful uh, cut crystal. It's not signed, but I do believe it's going to be Stuart Crystal or one of those. At the back there, if you can see, hang on. There is a what looks to be a White Friars Powell vase. Um, it is of the period. It's you know 1960s. It has the controlled bubbles. It's a nice tall vase. Plenty of authentic wear around the foot rim. It has the ground out polished pontal that you get on white fryers. However, it's just a bit clumsy, a bit thin, um, and just not quite right. Uh, so I believe it is of the period, but I'd say this is more Scandinavian 60s vase as opposed to uh, white fryers or Powell. Um, still, nevertheless, it's nice, it'll display well. Uh, next, I had a large collection of what's called Gaudy Welsh or Gaudy Welsh. There's 12 um, plates, 12 tea plates, 12 cups and saucers. It's a full box. It came in to me, um, believe it or not, the entire set uh, came in for £10. And you can see there, just uh, on the right, dim, probably there. On the side, wait, wait. 12 of everything. Actually, sorry, 11 cups. So it's 12 plates, 12 tea plates, 12 saucers, and 11 cups. I'm short a cup. But for £10, I remember when this set would have been up in the hundreds. And fine, no, it's not quite finely. Here we have a gold. Well, it's going to be rolled gold, it will be, it won't be solid gold. It's a propelling pencil uh, by Parker in a box. Um, came in for a pound. Um, and I believe it's 14 carat rolled gold. So that's quite nice. And the final item, again, I love. Came from the same lady as the ivory. Is this cherub? Um, it's terracotta, and it's a seat in cherub. So if I move some things here quickly for you, you'll actually see how it works. So basically, it sits. So it'll sit on your garden wall. It is absolutely stunning. Beautiful uh, little face. It's got. Lovely detail on the wings. Um, it's got a little bit of damage, it's lost a thumb, but there as you can see, um, there's the back. It is very nice. It's got some good age, I'll give you that. So, just a nice decorative little item. Just a little uh, quick add-on guys, um, once I went through the table I forgot I uh, put the table and chairs uh, to the side I wanted to show you. Um, purchased these, um, again car boot sale, uh, there was £20 for the full set. Now looking at them they're absolutely beautiful, they look to be early 20th century. Um, they have the uh, wicker, wicker seat, uh, beautiful little um, roundel there. 
Um, they're all iron. The seats are folding. They do fold up. Hang on. Let me set that up there for you. So they fold up flat. Um, they obviously they have a fair bit of age. Really nice. They're the sort of thing you'd see on um, almost like an officer's campaign uh, set where they'd be sat on the um, terrace with their afternoon tea or something. They're really, really pretty. Nice, elegant uh, iron table and two chairs. So guys, um, I hope you liked having a look at these uh, few little bit pieces here. Uh, some interesting things. I will let you know what I find in the uh, Sorrento Puzzle Wear box <laughs> if uh, I ever get into it. I do know you have to move the side panels at different stages and then drop down and move. I have an idea how to open it, it's just playing with it until I get it open. So, but I will let you know what I find in that. Other than that, it's good, interesting work in stock, and as I say, the ivory, I'll be keeping for myself, I absolutely love it. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video. Um, please subscribe, and uh, if you like, visit my uh, website of www.antiquesarena.co.uk, or you'll find us on eBay where I actually sell the pieces you see. So, thank you very much, and hope you enjoyed.